Shahid Anjum, Department of ID and D. Today I am taking up class on Housing Environment for Deaf, Dumb and Mentally Retarded People. Firstly, Introduction. Deaf and Dumb People inhabited a research sensory world where vision and touch are primary means of spatial awareness. Orientation may use in language visual kinetic mode of communication and have strong cultural identity built around the shared life experience. Whereas um, deaf and dumb people, they cannot hear like how we, we hear and we do the works. For them, we need to have some special needs. For example, it might be in housing environment. Housing envi environment, we need to have the spatial distance or the space which they require to feel comfortable in their home. Even if they are alone at home, they can be able to do the works which they can do. Next, so there are some key elements for uh, uh, mental, uh, deaf and dumb people. Uh, those are sensory reach. Whereas sensory reach is nothing but uh, where the people uh, have some sensory unit of uh, hearing. For example, they may not have uh, uh, hearing hearing capacity. So for that, we might have the flooring on. Uh, uh, we can have the flooring of uh, wooden flooring so that when we walk or uh, when someone else will come with the help of vibration they will come to know that uh, that there is someone over the door or for example having uh, lightings for the doorbells uh, instead of having doorbells we can put the lightings for the uh, bell so that when uh, someone rings the bell so we will get to know that someone is there because of the lightning next one is space and proximity for deaf and dumb people, uh, we, uh, we need to talk to them uh, in front, like we need to have at least one feet of gap uh, opposite, so that when they act, we can come to know that, that what they are speaking about. Uh, even whenever they walk or uh, they come, then we need to have more space than uh, others. Uh, even wherever they walk, there need to be placed some uh, mirror, so that when someone is back of them, if you are calling, we, they cannot hear. But with the help of mirror, they can see that someone is calling or someone is calling to them. Next, mobility and proximity. Mobility and proximity is nothing but uh, while walking together in conversation, signers often maintain a wider distance for clear visual communication. The signers also shift their gaze between conversation and their surroundings. Scanning for hazards, maintaining proper direction if one person sends even the slight hazard they alert their companion, adjust and continue without interruption. The proper design of circulation and gathering space enables signers to move through the space uninterrupted. Whereas for deaf and dumb people, we need to have more sign boards, whereas where to go, where to come, what is the exact place they need to go or what is the thing which is been in that room, so that it helps them to see and go wherever they want to go. Next one is light and color. Light and color is nothing but we need to have a, a light color and bright lights. We should not use bright colors for their walls because they talk with the help of their actions. If the if the wall are in bright colors, we may not see clearly what they are acting. So instead of that, we can use light colors for the walls and bright colors, bright lights, so that with the help of light, we can come to know what they are going to explain. Next one is acoustic. Acoustic is nothing but even if them are uh, deaf people, they will be have some sense of hearing. So in that some sense of hearing or the with help of the machinery, they will hear something. But in that machinery, uh, the sound which will be more affected, it will affect double of their what they will be listening to. So we, we need to know, we need to focus on that, that uh, they will not have more sensing. Types of space consideration. Too little attention has been given to living areas for mentally retarded to the different size and types of areas necessary for different handicapped people. When planning or remodeling residential facilities for mentally retarded children or adults, we need to broadly consider many aspects such as fixed features, space or physical structures, semi-fixed structures including furniture, and informal space and considerations such as distance maintained in contact with others relating individuals needs for any other person. 
whereas for uh, mentally retarded people we don't know at what time what they will do or what may not do they may get angry at any time so we need to be careful of their mentally situations whereas create a positive mental health environment at home ensure a clean and organized environment at home there is a saying that cluttered space and cluttered mind perches on transparent storage and cabinet so that they allow to put objects away and out of plain sight by keeping your space looking minimal and organized it encourages an individual to concentrate their efforts more productive matters will also make cleaning to the future easier whereas we need to see that uh, placing glasses or uh, any items which will harm them we should not keep that in their surroundings we have to avoid those items to be kept over there next is purchase indoor plants within regularly occupied space bringing natural elements into the indoors has a calming effect on our mental health you may purchase as many plants as you want however a general rule of thumb for clean cleaner air quality perspective is to purchase one indoor plant for every 100 square feet of space seek out plants and speak to you when you are plants shopping but mostly most importantly have fun with it see if you are placing indoor plants it will help them to recover very soon like you will be having positive energy or a positive vibes we can see so with the help of that when you see green area around you your mind will be peace and calm next is make use of outdoor and natural spaces if you stay at home lockdown is not in order try to maximize your time outdoors by exposing yourself to green space water bodies and ample amount of sunlight for vitamin D which has been shown to regulate and improve our mood by staying at home uh, you won't feel that comfortable every time uh, looking into those four walls instead of that going out or having some space in your outdoor space or your garden we can tell or a park so that those mentally retarded people will have a peace of mind by mingling with some other people next furnish your space using natural materials and elements furnishing your place with elements of wood brick terracotta stone and other natural materials is great way to incorporate natural design elements into your space for the furnishing for the furnishing the space with the natural materials is been very useful for those mentally retarded people next plan your space with variety of uses have workspace that faces wall with the minimal daylight balance that with laptop stations in the living room right against the window with ample daylight so uh, you can have all these regulations for the requirements for the mentally retarded people so holistically meet all the functional elements of comfortable space not only not only should space a uh, beautiful but it must holistically find a way to balance the following functional pyramids to make space feel comfortable such as lighting sound masking thermal condition seating and ergonomics visual privacy whereas uh, for the mentally retarded people we need to be calm very much because as i said they may not have their control on their mental health they may act rude they may act sweet we need to we need to be calm with them thank you